Okay. So now it's time to actually modify our uh, templates. We've done everything, not actually everything, but at least the bulk of what is needed in our Vetumat components to actually make our store to be a functional online store. We've been able to actually edit our images, our product images, and also the, the product content. We've created uh, categories, we've, we've created manufacturers, and we've done every other uh, changes relating to products and Vetumat. But as you can see, our templates or our site front home page is, is not actually uh, ready. So meaning we are still going to, going to do some changes on our uh, home page. And we're going to be working with modules to effect all these, all these changes. We're going to be working with, with modules. Now I'm actually trying to refresh the page, but it's taking a while to actually refresh okay here it is i'm refreshing the page so so far so good so right now the first change that we're going to try to effect here if you not if you observe our website you have products there's a there's a tab showing you featured products you have the macbook the imac sorry for 400,000. you have the hp you have the iphone 5 you have the iphone 6. so for that i'm when, when you go to go to new you have the latest product that i just added then you go to hits based on the product i've added the most hits but for now since they are not visiting our product yet, so this tab will be inactive. You have specials. You have the, the camera and other product. Basically, we've started up our product. That the, the first tab here, or the, or the or the first module here, is actually sorting our products with tabs. This is a part of the feature that actually came with our template. Came that template. Then when you go down, there's a from the blog, which was part of the demo. And then you have another tab showing new products, showing new products. But what I'm going to do here, if you observe this from the tab area is very much, it's inactive and it's not needed. So meaning we have to remove this and then we'll go down these banners just for the sake of il il uh, illustration. We are going to change these banners, the two banners that we are seeing down here. Our product brands, they are very active now we actually did the editing earlier on and then about to change all the uh, words here or the write-ups that i had so basically those are changes i'm going to do and then we'll work on the slider and then the logo to actually make our uh, to actually modify our sites further then we our sites further so the first thing that we're going to do now in this template modification is let's go to module manager and then open that tab again that's going to show templates manager i believe we all know what a module is a, a module is uh, uh, an aspect of your joomla site whereby you can display contents images or, or write-ups in a section of your site in a section of your site you see here, this slider is actually a module. It's, it's taking a particular section of our site. This here is a module. This here, again, is a module displaying products from our Vetumat, which is actually our e-commerce component. This here is a module displaying articles from a particular category. This, this again is a module, and this two, they are modules. So this, our site is made up of basically modules, modules, modules. So for us, the, the first thing I want us to do is I'll explore you people, let me just explore you guys to templates, how to preview a template so that you can effectively change. To preview a template, click on templates, and then you preview. But if the preview is not on, meaning you have to on it here, you go to options, options, you enable, and then you save and, and close. And then you save and close. That way we can actually preview our templates. Just previewing now. Let's let it 
previewing our templates is going to take us to this uh, page. Like you can see, you can see how the model positions and all that. So for the purpose of what we are going to do, we are trying to modify and remove the blog area. This is the blog. And if you can see, this blog is in content top. This is the position that this, this module is. So we just look for this module in this position and then unpublish it. So now when we go to our uh, module manager, we look down and then we look for this. You observe this is the position, we sort it by position and then we are in content top. We see from the blog and then we disable it. Disable it. After disabling it, let's refresh our home page and see whether this area is going to go off. Okay, we've disabled it. We've disabled it. And then you can see there's no longer from the blog here. Yeah? It's just product, 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 product. So we've actually uh, succeeded in removing one module position. And then the next thing that we're going to do Again, let's add this, this about us here to fit with our company theme. So let's go over to module position or let's go to our preview that we've pre previewed already. Let's go down. This is footer one. So you go to your module manager, look for footer one. Footer one, this is the about. This is it, about. And then you see everything that is actually written there. Normally, you don't have to toggle the editor to actually do this, but for the sake of this, I might actually toggle the editor. But what you have to do is just edit it straight off from here. Let me just do it with that way. Let's say we are the leading e store. Nigeria offering fast delivery nationwide and goods at the cheapest prices. Welcome. We are Tron e store and it's ready to deliver what class online service basically this can be whatever thing you want but here at least we've been able to locate this model and then modify it you can actually modify it with whatever thing you want so let's save and close and then we'll go back to our home page and then refresh it to see how much so now you can see that it's, it's, it's just a dummy test here but let's refresh it and see what is going to come up here it's still loading okay as you can see here, we are the leading in-store in Nigeria offering fast delivery and goods natural. Meaning, we've been able to modify this position. This this is the service. My accounts order. Let's see how we can actually play around again with this particular module position. So we'll go here. That is that should be footer two. We'll go back to our module. This is our module manager. We'll go to footer two. We see the service. We are seeing the service. So this this the service is actually displaying a, a particular menu. The service. So this is one of the function of uh, Joomla. You can actually display a menu as a module. So now, since this menu is displaying, this module is, is displaying a menu. So for us to actually edit that module, we have to go and edit the actual menu. The name of the menu is the service. So what we have to do, we go to menu manager, we should see the service, as you can see there's this, the service here, we click on it, 
and then clicking on the service is going to show us all the menu that are here let's say we want to remove this you see virtual match categories here if you go to here you see this mark as let's say we are removing this and then we are removing this and then we are removing this let's delete this one to delete you just tick on it and then you click on trash and then you click on trash and then you click on trash so let's just say that's the modification that we are going to do here later on i'm going to be exploring you about menus in uh Joomla, but for now, let's just say this is how you can delete this particular menu. So if you see now, when we refresh our front end, since we've deleted about three, meaning we'll be left with just three, three items here. You see my account, wish list, and front page. So that's how we actually do all the modification so that way you can still go to information and do it again and play around with the settings there so this is this is the newsletter area so basically we've done we've been able to modify our footer area what we are going to do here is to modify or change this the images that are here these two images here so the best way what we are going to do we we'll create our own image and then replace it there are two ways you can do this you can actually go to your ht docs zamp go to your store go to images and i'm going to images you can find these two image if all you want to do is just to replace the image you just have to create the image and then replace it here just over just use it to overwrite these two so that's one way to do that's a very fast way if it's actually going to be just an image replacement you replacing it here is going to affect what's going to happen on your front end so i'm just going to carry grab my images now and you replace it here with the same name and when you're replacing it has to be the same name and it has to be in the same format png should be png jpg should be jpg that's how it works so i'm just going to try and locate my my uh image my banner images now to actually use to replace that so these, these are my two images the two images that i'll be using to over, override the banner images there i'll just copy it copy it. i'll go back again to my hdocs folder where those two images are and then i'll paste pasting now will actually affect the change that i want what's going to happen i'm going to actually rename it to these names so this this actually is bot banner one so i'll just copy it ctrl c bot banner one let me delete it so that i can actually make this the name then i will rename this to bot banner one that is for that then this one again i'm going to change take the name of this bot banner two i'm just going to copy the name and then i'll delete it and then come here rename and then paste paste meaning you have bot banner one and bot banner two so let's go to our home page now and then refresh and see how that uh, change has taken effect okay so you see the two banners we've edited the, the two banners you have laptops you have laptops and then you have mobile phones in the middle so basically that's how you can actually edit or replace images though there are there are two ways you you can still go to this model position and try to upload a new image to your joomla and then insert it in that position so you can do it that way but this is a very fast way to do it to just go copy cut uh, create an, an image go back there to go to your hdocs folder go to your images folder locate the particular image that you want that you want to replace and then just replace it to the same name so that's what we've done here we've succeeded in replacing the banner so what we are going to do next is we are going to try and change our logo from changing our logo then we'll edit our menus so let's just try and work on the logo right now So now let's try to edit our logo. 
So to actually edit it or, or logo, what you have to do, there, there are two ways that we can do this. We can actually replace the existing logo with our image. But the process that we're going to use now is just to go down to your extension, go to template manager, and then it clicks. And then you go to the name of this template that we are using is actually T3DS3. That's the name, you click on it. Click on it. And then on clicking on this, you go to general, you go to team, you see logo, you click on logo, and then you select the logo that I want to use to tell you to whether upload. So let's say we are uploading, we choose file. We've created one which is here, and then you start upload. So what you have to do is just create your own logo that you need to use and then you use it there, and then you start and then you save so just go to your templates you, you and upload the logo that you've created so let's refresh this and see how it has taken effect okay so we've succeeded in using webex e store webex e store that's the name of the logo that we've used. So now we've changed the, the logo and then we've changed the, the panels at the bottom and edited the footer area. So the last thing that we're going to do now is to actually try and uh, modify, you know, not the last thing, second to the last thing we're going to do, let's work with our menus. If we observe, we have menus, you have sliders, women, men, shop, and we are selling electronic products here. So we don't need women and men. We, we need electronics, laptops, tablets. So all we have to do now, we just go to our menu manager and actually delete some menus and then edit it with the menus that we need. So to do that, we just come go here, our back end. And then let me close this one first. Okay, let's say here. We go to our menu manager. It's our menu manager you go to main menu but for the for this template the menu that's actually active the menu that you're seeing on the front end is not the main menu it's the navigation menu so mind you use that in the navigation menu so when you go to navigation menu you see all our menus that are there so what, what, what we're going to do first if as you can see our home has different types left and we don't want that no we don't want this so just go back here we delete all the SS from here. The ones that we don't want, then the ones that want to modify, we modify and then we can add some. Then we deleted, we deleted this. So let's say we are trashing all those. Trashing all those. Okay, we've trashed this one. So the first one here is slider. We don't want slider to, to be showing us a menu. We don't want slider to be showing as a menu. So what we have to do is let's tick on it and delete. Let's tick on it and delete. So then women, let's edit women. Click on the menu item to edit, click on it. After clicking takes you here. Let's call this one electronics. Electronics, that's the name. You see, there's a the menu item type that this is displaying. It's a category layout. So let me quickly expose you to menu item types. When you click on select, select is actually going to take you to all the menu types that's available on Joomla. Joomla allows you to create an article as a menu, allows you to create a contact as a menu, a K2 as a menu, a search as a menu, so many stuff. You can have different menu types. And the good thing about Joomla menu is that the more you install third-party components and extension, the more options you have to actually use as a menu. So based on the fact now that we have a Vertumat component installed, meaning we have a new type of menu item type. We have, we have a new type of menu item. If we've not installed Vertumat on this site, this menu item type won't be displayed. So now we have Vertumat, so you can try to select it to be account maintenance, category layouts, and all that. So for the purpose of this, this is actually category layouts, and a category layout will display products from a particular category. Understand? For a particular cat category, let's just click on it. So this 
this is like a vetumat menu you are creating a vetumat menu that was going to display categories uh, uh, products from a particular category here you select the category which category do you want it to display from you can select any category it's going to display from electronics and then you want to show categories so the categories below the, se the selected one you can decide to or you can decide not to show products yes show products so this is for this so now you save and close save and close so now we've succeeded in changing one of these items to so what we are going to do again this electronics has a lot of sub menus inside that we don't actually need so we're just going to come here tick on them and then we'll delete them because we don't want them then we'll delete them okay i'm going to trash trashing it is going to delete if you want to unplug unpublish you can still decide to unpublish it why it's unpublished it's not deleted but it will just show on your front end so that's for one so let's do the same for the other men let's call men uh smartphones let's edit it to smartphones smartphones see see smartphones and then the category is very important you have to select category that is displaying it's going to display products from smartphones from smartphones and then we we'll save and close save and close that's for smartphones so let's delete all the accompanying child menus of this let's just try to delete it then we we'll trash okay now we have electronics we have smartphones we have shop and then we we'll move all these other ones here removing this is let's remove the blob too and then what we're going to leave is just the contacts so we're going to try and delete this so let's try now to edit to create one more let's create one more menu okay let's say two more for the remaining two product categories so to create a new menu you just go here you click on new there's a new tab here you click on new clicking on new is going to take you to that interface like i said you have to choose a menu item type it won't work without you choosing the menu item type so you click on select which is going to take you to the environment here we are actually trying to create a vetumat menu type you click on vetumat there are very different types of vetumat menu you can create a vetumat menu that is going to show account maintenance you can create a vetumat menu that is going to show products from a particular category you can create a vetumat menu that's going to display a vendor contact you can display a vetumat menu that's going to display only a vetumat details you, you can display a vetumat menu that's going to display all the vendors on your site you can display a menu that's going to display the front end list orders manufacturers product details you can display on, only a single product self you can create a, a, a menu that's going to display only a single product if you want so it's very you can create a shopping cart address so many but for the purpose of this we are going to create a vestimate menu that is going to show products from a particular category and that's you are going to use the category layout as the menu item type that we are going to be using today that's going to be the menu item type so the, the category that is going to display from we've done for electronics and smartphone let's use tablets the let's call the menu item tablets and then we save our new to create the last one save our news is going to save this one and then open another a window for us to create a new one let's call this one uh the one that we've not done computers computers 
and then select the menu item type to be to be a virtual mat category like i said earlier category layouts it's going to display products for a particular category and then select the category to be computers yeah and then you save and close you save and close so now we have our home page we have electronics we have this so now we let's just see how we can move these menus up because computers let's take this one to be just after smartphones then let's take tablets to be just after computers to move just drag and drop drag and drop that's with joomla 3.0 joomla 2.5 is different though but then this contact is our contact us you can decide to keep it or leave it so now we succeeded in creating the menus that we want let's go to the home page and then refresh and see how it is going to be okay as you can see you have our home page you have electronics you have smartphones you have computers you have tablets shop and all that now we have to remove the module that is being displayed inside this particular menu item because it's still displaying a module we have to do that for electronics click on it And then to remove that, what we are going to do, we can actually go to module assignment and then try to see if any module is assigned directly to that menu. Or you can actually just delete the module, the menu, and then create another menu item type. That way you are having a fresh menu installation. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll just create a new menu and call it electronic and then delete the old one save and close so let's click on this now let's refresh our front end our electronics is nice there's no woman there's no image there again so right now we've succeeded in actually editing our menu items so the last thing that we're going to do now is to change these sliders is to change the slider